Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over my first impressions of the new killer, Pinhead. So, in general, he seems like a very fun killer to play, to say the least. Um, he does take a little bit of getting used to and some, some skill required to properly use him. Uh, I'd say he's, he's more so a, a close to medium range killer. Uh, he does have long range capabilities. But I don't think it's all that uh, all that effective. Um, however, his passive is actually really good, and I I really like the the slowdown and like the side objective for survivors. Um, kind of needs a little bit more more team play, uh, as long as you know someone's gonna get the box so that the chain hunt doesn't spawn. That's good. Um, in general, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with his his perks uh i think they're they're quite good they're not meta defining or anything like that but they they are pretty good and they can synergize with a couple couple other perks uh so let's look at deadlock this is a pretty nice slowdown as well as some information so you know kind of where the survivors are kind of working on gens uh and obviously the slowdown is really good synergy is kind of weird with that one uh, Pop, uh, the fact that the generator is blocked is not great, but it, it does prevent the survivors from finishing it. I would say Pop is kind of like a half-half synergy kind of thing. Um, it's good because you know which one's the, the furthest done, but the block generator doesn't... Uh, you can't pop it while it's blocked. Uh, there's some some other synergies going on, but I'll make another video with the synergies. Um, let's look at his hex plaything. Now this is kind of an interesting one because it uses up to four different doll totems, and it can be, uh, you know, it, it, if the survivors do the doll totems right away, it kind of ne negates the the whole perk. So it again it has some pros, some cons. And then his final one, Scorchuck. This is kind of an interesting one. I like the idea of having different abilities on each. Uh, like the the hooks are like a new. It's a new type of perk kind of thing. Um, so I hope to see more of this kind of thing. But it's it's good. It's basically like a sloppy butcher and Thano kind of thing going on. It's really good. I'll, I'll make another video going into detail about the perks. But I want to go over his power. It's a uh, it's generally it's it's fun to use it's like a mix between uh, nurse with the the teleport and kind of like billy with controlling the chain uh, i found it's it's really useful like nurse uh to to kind of teleport it right behind the survivors so that you can just launch your chain and instantly hook them slow them down um it's really cool about his his ability because it, it slows them down and obviously you can go around corners and line of sight blockers are, are really powerful against Pinhead in my opinion. Um, but yeah, like I said, you don't really want to use it long range. I kind of just lose distance as opposed to gaining it at that point. And yeah. I, if I were to put him in, into a tier on like a tier list kind of thing, I would say he's low mid. So mid to mid low, um, which is again, not not an issue at all. Like not every killer has to be like S plus and really powerful. Uh, but it's also still really early to, to put him in a, a definite uh, spot. Because even Blight, Blight, uh, people thought Blight was, you know, he was he was a decent killer, but they didn't think he was all that powerful. And now people put him in S because he they actually found out his uh, true potential. So only time can tell. Um, other than that, I just want to get my my thoughts out there quick. Uh, this gameplay is actually my very first match ever playing him. I saw lots of footage uh, from the PTV and. Uh, through other content creators um, But yeah, this is my first ever match with him uh, also with the new skill based matchmaking So take that into account um, Please uh, enjoy the rest of the video
All right, take care, guys. Thank you.